I mean, both of the matchups are like good for Shake Zula. Yeah, in fact, yeah, both of the matchups are good for Shake Zula. So whatever, it, like, whatever. Can yeah, I think I think they're going straight into it. Actually, this isn't a hand warmer or anything. You got uh, Shake Zula doing some typical ledge play. I don't know if it's gonna get past all these projectiles though. Yeah. Definitely trying to stay on the ledge here. Um, I don't know a lot about like any rest setups with Samus. I mean, I'm pretty sure up to was combo in the rest. Yeah. Uh, with with Samus versus Jigs, I'm pretty sure that Jigs gets uh, pretty few backers. A ton. That's just grimy. I don't know if I like that. All right, so Shake Zula up early here. He's trying to get his Samus with back air. Um, I think he's gonna try to let Samus just approach here and try to just see like where he can get his openings. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm, I'm seeing Shake Zula use a lot more uh, falling backers. I guess it must work better in this matchup. Um, so he uses that nair there whenever he gets too close. There's a good good spacing player, you know. What what I noticed specifically is that Shake Zula likes to stay around the ledge and actually doesn't like to be in the middle of the bottom of the stage. Yeah, he looks pretty comfortable near the ledge. Um, he got caught with some of the bombs there, but he looks pretty comfortable just playing it slow and like slowly taking percent until he'll get Samus up to kill percent here. Another taunt, and I'm sure that he's happy using the level 10 tag because, uh, oh, <laughs> gets hit by a straight missile. Everything was looking good for the Puff player, and then that missile just completely took him out. Maybe he'll be more hesitant near the ledge now after, like, getting called for that. Or maybe he can't pull, shoot more missiles out of when he's at the ledge. Okay, so we see the Samus using the crouching up beat. This is a really good move. Orange shield. Uh, ooh, the charge shot. Oh man. So far getting one missile kill and almost a charge shot kill. Now I kind of believe this uh, camp guy. He, he definitely said earlier that he's beating Shigzula and I, I can see it's not, it's not insanely close but I can see how he did that. And uh, this Samus play is definitely just uh, pretty good out of all the Samuses here. I've seen one other Samus today. Yeah, he's definitely like seeing where he can get his openings more because at first it looked kind of lost. Double dash attack there. Um, interesting. Is that the third F smash kill? Have they all been F smash kills? Uh, no, actually, no. That was the first F smash kill. And and I'm pretty sure after that he, he knew that he's gonna taunt every single sock. So uh, he's he's on a game mindset. He's, he's, yeah, he, he's ready. I don't think he can come back from that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he can do that. Probably like a tech skill flub on a rising pound would be my guess, but who knows. Alright, definitely going in a little bit more here. Camp was definitely getting more damage out when they were both kind of camping on their own sides. Yeah. Alright, both players are playing kind of tediously. Don't really want to approach anybody. Oh, he's trying to crouch until they can get an opening. Okay, spacing back here as usual. Big has been going deep for those, and now that'll kill. He went deep off stage on the right side and uh, tried to get a kill earlier. And I think he just tried to do it that time on the left side and they just landed in the right place. Samus was coming down off of uh, bombs and it worked. Yeah, I really saw um, Shake Zula just capitalize a lot when um, Camp was going in and they're like just kind of taking advantage of the openings that Camp was giving him and not really being aggressive himself. And, like, I saw him have a lot of success with that there. What's interesting in this matchup, they both like Greenland, but as far as I know, this is probably in Samus' favor to be on uh, Yoshi's, so I'm, I'm guessing they banned Greenland because, yeah, it's another good stage for Samus. We got the Rainbow Cruise music. 
I like it. I like 20XX because it gives you these other, you know, stages. Yeah, and, you know, the same is using typical projectiles and bombs to just try to space out and camp a Shakezula. The Shakezula is ready for those back airs. They go through a lot of those projectiles. Oh, the rest! That was nice. We didn't, we didn't see that come into play. Yeah, we didn't see rest come into play first game, but that was nice there. That's one bonus of Yoshi, is that rest will kill earlier. Especially with Samus, who has the huge horizontal. Right. And that's, and that's the fear with Jigglypuff, because on Yoshi's, uh, you know, she dies earlier, but if she rests, then you die earlier. So. Yeah. Oh, super wave dash there. This is the rest. Is that really the best punish, do you um, think? Maybe if you had a charged up charge shot, that would be. Yeah. But I'm not exactly sure. That maybe, might be maybe. one of the disadvantages in the matter. What I would think is the best uh, punish would be charging your charge shot and then don't use it, and then, then maybe hitting it with the down smash. Yeah. That would be my option. I guess it depends what Gets a charge there. Uh, the smaller stage is working out for camp here, I would definitely say. Much closer. Yeah, much closer game. Yeah, yeah, much. And another taunt. Jigzilla doesn't want to keep it close. He just wants to have a game. Yeah, so this, while it's still pretty close, in this matchup, like, percent is a pretty significant lead. Just because it's hard for Samus to get quick kills or gimps on top, I feel like. So. Oops. Alright, so we're kind of seeing them play a little more defensive here. Oh. Shake Sula got a nice little back air string there, which racked up some damage on camp. He's gonna need a quick kill here if he's gonna want a chance. Okay, using that charge trap, but falling down with the Nair does get the kill on the Jigglypuff. Using down tilt, that's a pretty strong move. And uh, pops Jigglypuff pretty high up, might get, might be able to get a back air or an up air off of that. I'm not sure. The same as players probably not. Yeah, hey Jaxus, you think that? I still push down. So this is looking like, although it was posed earlier in the game, now it's kind of in Shakespeare's favor. And I would say that rest at the beginning definitely helped him. Um, oh, super wave dash a little bit to the edge. That was pretty good. Oh, that charge shot. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was a bait. He liked, he liked to use that missile to get him off, uh, to get Jubilee Pop off the, the, the ground and then just do a charge shot. It was kind of a read, so. He was a the spot there on the edge, but he got out of it. Definitely a tough matchup for Samus. There's just not a lot she can really do with Puff. It's still possible, but it's it's a really grim looking matchup right now. It's late percent, and then yeah, my back here my next back here will kill for sure. Does he have his charge shot? I think he, yeah, he doesn't have charge shot either, so that's not a play. Yeah, if he can do some crazy stuff. Oh! That missile to Nair almost did it. Oh, that F smash. Reverse F smash, and that kills off the right side. I'm gonna hop off. Alright, I think we uh, both are hopping off right now. Uh, I will update the match count though. That was 2 0 for Shazul.